The original LEGO Star Wars is the granddaddy of the LEGO video game empire, a cute and hilarious take on the prequel trilogy whose success spawned dozens of licensed LEGO games. Now we're returning to a galaxy far, far away with LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, a massive collection that takes you through all nine core Star Wars movies, including the two final films in the sequel trilogy, which haven't been LEGO-fied yet. But even though we are returning to films already covered before, don't expect a simple retread of the previous games. The Skywalker Saga is built from the ground up and makes changes to the traditional LEGO formula to stand out. This is everything you need to know about LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. As with all LEGO games, The Skywalker Saga is a retelling of the films but keeps plot events simple and the tone decidedly less serious. You'll visit every planet and major location in the saga, all redone in the blocky style of LEGO. From Mos Eisley Spaceport on Tatooine, the Gungan City beneath the waters of Naboo, and the ancient Jedi ruins of Akto. The stories all play out the same as their film counterparts, but with jokes thrown in to keep you laughing. You can't win, but there are alternatives to fighting. The LEGO games have always delivered solid gags and wholesome slapstick humor. GameSpot editor Jordan Ramey got the chance to preview the game and found the humor to be just as delightful as ever, saying, I think this is ultimately going to be an excellent way to enjoy Star Wars, regardless of whether you're a longtime fan or a new face in the galaxy far, far away. Continuing the trend of more recent LEGO games, Skywalker Saga has original voice acting to recreate iconic lines from the films as well as new dialogue. Featured is a wide range of returning talent from the live-action films, like Billy Dee Williams' Lando, as well as pulling from the Star Wars animated series, like James Arnold Taylor for Obi-Wan. Skywalker Saga is also the final acting credit for the legendary Tom Kane who retired in November 2021 after suffering from a stroke. If you're wondering if your favorite Star Wars character will make an appearance, there are apparently 300 playable characters in the game, so chances are, they're there. The structure of Skywalker Saga represents the greatest deviation from the LEGO formula. At the beginning of the game, you are given the choice to pick from the start of each trilogy. Campaigns will mix the more traditional LEGO levels with open hubs for each planet you can explore. For example, you can explore the hub area of the Moss Eisley spaceport, and then when you're ready, you can head over to the next objective to continue the story. Using a galaxy map, you can travel to each planet, unlocking them as they show up in the plot, but are able to return to previously visited locations whenever you want. These planet hubs are where a lot of the game's exploration is. You can talk to NPCs and do small side quests for them. There's collectibles to find and puzzles to solve. There's even a brand new rumor system where you can pay a few studs to get a hit on where a particular unlock is, such as a ship. And speaking of ships, these hubs just aren't on the planet's surface. You can also fly above in a ship of your choosing, with even more quests and collectibles to find. You can even get in aerial dogfights with a squadron of TIE fighters. Combat has also received a few upgrades. Melee weapons like lightsabers have a basic combo system to give fights more depth than simply smashing one button. Ranged weapons use a third-person over-the-shoulder perspective, letting players have more accurate shots. You can even take cover in certain spots, like in LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. The game's many, many characters are all split into different roles for certain tasks. Jedis can use the Force, droids can use certain doors, etc. There's also a skill tree you can use to upgrade these roles, increasing health, blaster damage, and faster build speed, to name a few. To get these upgrades, you'll need to find Kyber Bricks hidden throughout the galaxy's many planets. It has been confirmed there is no custom character creator like in LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Certainly a bummer from my point of view, as I have very fond memories of spending time with my best friend, building our own custom Star Wars characters in that game. And speaking of playing with friends, the series staple co-op makes a return, 
At any time, a buddy can hop into your game with some good old-fashioned split-screen. Unfortunately, if you don't have a friend to invite over to your house, you're out of luck, as there is no online multiplayer of any kind. When it comes to post-release, WB Games has confirmed seven DLC character packs for the Skywalker Saga. These tap into many of the recent Star Wars non-trilogy movies, as well as the Disney Plus TV shows. The packs available at launch are The Mandalorian Season 1 and Solo A Star Wars Story. The classic character pack is available if you buy the game at certain retailers, and will be available later on April 19th. The Rogue One A Star Wars Story pack will also release on April 19th. The Trooper pack comes included if you pre-purchase the digital version and can be bought separately on May 4th. Also available on May 4th is the Mandalorian Season 2 and the Bad Batch packs. Keep in mind, all of these are simply new characters and don't include levels. And boy, is that a lot to keep track of. If you'd rather just get everything in one bundle, there is the Character Collection, the Skywalker Saga's version of a Season Pass, which gives you all seven of these character packs. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga launches on April 5th. Like with all LEGO games, Traveler's Tales is bringing the Skywalker Saga to every major platform. PC, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the current generation versions for PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S. The standard edition comes at $59.99 US dollars on all platforms, and there's also the deluxe edition, which costs an additional $10 and comes with the character collection bundle. The Skywalker Saga has been a long time coming, first announced all the way back in E3 2019, and has had multiple delays. By the way, if you want to know more about the behind-the-scenes development, I highly recommend checking out this excellent Polygon article detailing the game's five-year development and, sadly, the brutal crunch the developers have had to endure. And that is everything you need to know about LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Are you a longtime LEGO fan, new to the series, or are you like me and played the original LEGO Star Wars games way back in the day and are just now returning for this new one? Make sure to click subscribe to GameSpot so you're informed when our full review of the game comes out. Thanks for watching.